Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So it's been so long I haven't uploaded any video and many people started to believe I got life or something. No guys, no, no, I don't have any life. So today I was thinking a lot about fish shell, which is, you know, if you are thinking about fish shell, you, you don't have life. You know what? I started to use fish shell in my server. So uh, I'll explain what, what is this. So uh, if I go to my server, so this is fish shell. All right. And I started to like it because it have like some really cool auto suggestion features. And I, I started to install it in all my servers. Uh, I was working in some company and they have like more than 20 servers. I installed fish shell and because it, it comes by default, there is no, nothing to configure. And uh, later I realized many people who were working on that server had issues with fish shell. Even I started to have issues with fish shell because it is so alienated. Okay. And there are things which like, I don't know how to use this thing. Okay. It's, it, it doesn't feel like shell. It feels like something else. All right. So I just wanted to disconnect all my relationship with fish shell. And I wanted to, you know, find my way to a shell, which I understand. And then I realized I just need to learn how to configure ZSH because I was using all my ZSH and there, because, you know, it's simple. There are a lot of features present, but then my audience, which is so nice to me, they started to make my life hell by trolling me so much uh, for using all my CSH. Now, all my CSH is like a project which basically configure everything in your it, it makes you cocked. <laughs> basically, it just, you know, like, don't do it yourself. Let us do it. OK, and you just run like this random script in your computer but i realized it's time it's high time to learn and write my own zsh config so i started using zsh without you know much in my config and i realized that you know um okay so i i was lacking features and it was quite annoying but i was you know just i was not configuring just using zsh but then i realized okay it's time to learn so i learned and i wrote my config and today i'm going to show you it's very easy actually and i'm going to teach you like how you can do it so ZSH, let's get started. So though when you install ZSH and open it, this is the first thing you see and you just need to ignore it by pressing Q. OK, so it, it basically, you know, by default, you can go to menu. I, I don't know. All right. I don't know. In case if you're wondering how I install ZSH uh, shell. So it's quite simple. Pseudo Pacman, it's the main package manager. All right. And uh, in case if you want to switch from bash to ZSH, then go to sudo. The command is chsh and then uh, give bugs all right bugs is the username of my user and i just want to change my shell to zsh now i already have zsh uh, but all right so so where is zsh this is the path so that's why in case if you don't know the path so you can just type like whatever shell you want to switch okay and uh, in case if you wonder what chsh to then it, it actually just change in your etc password so the etc password file just contain the information of all the users and I can just grab my user instead of showing you all the users which exist in my system. So it just changed this value. All right. So you can even edit it by yourself in case if you just don't want to use CS. Everything is bloat. You know, why are we using telnet? We can just look into proc file and you know, like this is the beauty of Unix. Like everything is fine, but okay, let's keep, keep to the point. All right. So let me close and open again. Let's get started writing, you know, ZSH config. Now you can create a touch CSHRC file, which is the config for ZSHRC. As you can see right now, nothing is working. Okay. I'm trying to use my Emacs bindings to just move around in my shell, but it's not working. Now I don't want to keep my ZSHRC here because you know, it's a home directory. I don't want to keep my dot files here. So what I did is like, I have this variable Z dot dir set here so this variable tells if you have this uh, exported then it will tell your system that where is your zsh config so i have this directory config slash zsh where so i want to keep my zsh rc here now in case if you don't want to do it then you can also do something like link file you can create your zsh rc anywhere and create a symbolic link to your you know like home okay so now one more thing in case if you're wondering where I, okay, I cannot go up control P how I did this. Well, uh, in my config, in my shell, in my profile, 
uh, I, if so profile runs every time I log in and it just runs all these commands and I have like this command not this this command and uh, this is how I set my you know like dot ria variables okay this is the most proper way of doing it and uh, all right so this is the directory and I'm going to create my CSHRC in case if you don't have the variable set create it in home now I'm not going to do everything by myself you know I'm going to steal because you know I uh, why do it yourself I mean I understand everything but I steal the prompt of Luke Smith's config okay so I'll put this in description so what this do let's just learn you know what let me comment it and just type my own first bugs at um, you know like ethereus or I, I misspelled the spelling but doesn't matter so source so how to reload your config um okay i ha i'm having so much hard time using this shell okay so source dot shrc press enter and see this this is my new prompt it's so weird okay i i should have put some spaces here like this all right so source the shrc yeah so this is how your prompt get created okay so let's just uh, uncomment this so this will provide me colors and you know it automatically uh, tells us whatever the username is where where is the username like host name okay i don't know let's see uh, how it works so source shrc so i got you know like a nice prompt but it have no colors all right so you can type auto i mean auto load colors and colors i don't know i just told this line but i know this allows colors okay so source.zshrc and now i have colors okay so this was really basic rice of my shell all right this is like rising part now if, if zsh by default you know it provides a lot of cool like by default it provides nothing but it have a lot of cool functionality under it okay so if i try to ls in my home so you can see i have like these options but I cannot, you know, it's like bash, like I can do this, but I cannot have a menu. So for that, you, what uh, you can do is you can allow a few things. Now I'm going to steal from Luke's config few lines. Okay, it's only few lines, but I understand what these things do. So auto load. So there is this function or comp in it. All right. So we need to activate it. And this is uh, this is where I activated it on line seven. Okay. And this is just one option which we provided. We need a menu style where we should be able to select. So if I save this and source, uh, okay. So it's, as you can see, it's still very annoying because I don't have like my bindings on. Source zshrc, uh, spelling mistake. And now if I try to ls in my home directory, so you can see we got the menu. So cool. I'm I'm literally I started to hate oh my zsh after learning how easy it is to get your own oh my zsh like config okay so after this uh what we are going to do is that this is kind of it but i need one re really important thing which is if i if when you type history whatever you see is actually comes from your uh, shell all right so your shell maintain the history so what uh, i'm going to do is i'm going to set the size of hist file file size and file everything and these are the only things i need like okay so this is these three lines i need so let me just paste it here so this is just going to define the size and this i don't know and this is basically going to tell in what file you want to keep your zsh history let me just remove all of this because it it looks confusing and i'm going to just tell like uh, home slash local slash uh, share slash zsh history so this is where i want to keep all my commands history now i have a history with history zsh history where i learned that you should not make it public you should keep it hidden that's why i keep it in my share directory and not config directory so those who watch bugs writers channel for very long might know okay all right so it was my friend guys seriously okay so uh, you know what let's just uh, move ahead so this is something you need to keep after this one really important thing is bind minus e bind key minus e so i use emacs key binding in my shell so if i do source zshrc and now if i type something and i want my cursor to go here i press ctrl a and it you can see ctrl f like ctrl b ctrl f like oh, okay is there a screen key okay i don't have screen key but 
basically uh, now I can use like Emacs key binding. So yeah, this is really important. Otherwise I might die. Some people use Vim key binding. As you can see, Luke's config there. He used Vim key binding and you can see there are so many lines which he uh, had to add. Uh, all right. So this is something I don't like. Like I, I find uh, Emacs key binding way better than Vim key binding in shell. All right. So uh, I'm just used to it, but I, I'm not against like VI key bindings. I mean, but I don't like it. So uh, other than that, uh, we still need some more rising stuff. So the, all of this is just quite basic. Like I can work with my shell like this and it is kind of like, you know, like ZSH, uh, oh my ZSH, but you might wonder why there is no colors for that. Actually, it, it colors comes in LS. So we need to make uh, alias for it. Okay, so uh, alias LS is equal to this. And I keep all my aliases in my config uh, shell alias RC. All right. So this is why, like this is where my aliases exist. So it has a lot of aliases. I don't want to show it to you. But if I do WC minus L, okay, it have only one because I did LS and not get. So it have 10 aliases. So I need to source it basically in my ZSHRC. So let's just go to ZSHRC again. And uh, I need to like source and uh, home um, config shell alias RC. Okay, so I don't know. I, I, I'm writing home, but I, okay, I'm not sure about it. Like. It, I should write home or write full path or what, whatever, but it's going to work guys. Okay. So now if I type LS here, you can see the colors because I am basically if I type alias, okay, this is actually going to show my aliases. So let me just grab LS. So you can see in my alias, I have this alias. All right. Alias command just gives all the aliases. All right. So config ZSH again, like ZSHRC. What else? What else we need? Okay. Oh, uh, there is one more thing which I definitely need. So in my terminal, if I open it, there is no color syntax highlighting. Okay. And I, I really like syntax highlighting. Like, uh, so I will know this is right command or wrong command. So what I can do is I can install like CSH syntax highlighting. This is the one part of using Arch Linux. Like you get all these packages in your main package repo. Uh, what is the package name? So you can search packages, uh, CSH syntax highlighting okay fish shell like see everything all right so yeah had like okay fish shell introduced us with the uh, syntax highlighting so bravo for that okay so i installed the sh uh, syntax highlighting and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to find it like where is uh okay where is won't work so i need to find a z dot csh file so sudo find i uh, name and uh, type f and uh, I think in the name I need to uh, just put okay that's it so this is not going to work <laughs> uh, syntax highlighting awkward okay yeah this seriously I just installed like syntax user share zsh zsh okay there is plugins yeah this is where your file is so why it was not able to find it I mean, uh, okay, I, I, okay, I, I should have give the path. So the right command was this. Yeah. All right. So this is where your dot zsh file is. And what I need to do is I need to source it. And now if I close it, I don't know why I'm closing my file again and again. So now if I do CDLS or any command, like, uh, you know, like screen recorder, FF screen, ff record so you can see the colors change all right so this is one thing now one last thing which like okay so if you have watched till this point this is the most beautiful thing which you can get in your any shell okay and i got, kind of got inspired uh, from fish to do it so if i ssh in my server so in fish if i like do something it give auto suggestions okay it it gives auto suggestions and i just love it so what i'm going to do is I was just looking up, I was just searching uh, Pac-Man like for packages and I found this package here, uh, uh, not this package. Yeah, this CSH auto suggestions, all right. So you can install it and once you have this and you can again type find command to just know where is that file is, uh, which we need auto suggestions and 
okay so this is the zsh file and again open the file source it okay source it that's it that's it guys around 17 lines and if i remove all this this is all i need like 13 lines i believe i can work with it all right so now if i just you know it's basically going to fetch from the history all right so this is like the best shell csh and you can see what shell you are using with uh you know dollar symbol that's it that's the video and i might share my shell configuration with you so just play with it there are more a lot of other options which you can basically this is like you don't need fish zsh is perfect okay so thanks for watching fx wait a second f okay how to close it f record uh keep i i made a script by the way to record my screen so i'm using ffmpeg now i'm learning guys i'm growing okay i still don't have life all right don't don't spread rumors or something and you don't seem to understand